Hey, what's up guys? So the plan for this video is to build my shelving unit and my racking for my tools and the lumber rack. The garage is getting a little bit ridiculous with all the tools and things that I've got, so I need some way of sorting it out. So my plan is to put a few French cleats up here. I've got the double sockets so I can um, have my chargers next to them. So that will be all included in one. And the plan is to run the lumber, yak along, lumber, lumber rack along the top. Um, which means I can store my lumber up there rather than having it laid out on the floor and piled in the corner. So that's the plan anyway. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, it's going to be here. So all of this junk is going to move and uh, I'll see where else I can store that one. So uh, wish me luck and we'll see how it gets on. So first things first, clear the space. All that junk's got to go somewhere. Probably just in the corner for the moment, but I'll find somewhere for it. You know what they say. If you've got a flat space, you're going to put something on it, and then you've got the space for nothing. So once all this is cleared, I can actually start doing some measurements. I'll do it wrong, but I'll still measure at least. Oh, you can almost feel the cogs turning in my head. It was then time to cut out the strips for the actual French cleats. So the first one I did, I didn't cut it at 45 because I'm an idiot. But the second one and the third, I decided to actually make the cut at 45 because then it saves me cutting them again um, on the table saw later on. A little bit of a smarter way of doing it, obviously. If I'm honest, I hate drilling into breeze blocks, but it's the only place I can put them. And I really hope the neighbors forgave me after this. So now it was time to actually install the cleats. This one's fairly simple, just put the screws in and you're absolutely fine to go. But this is where I actually made one of my many mistakes. The ones that I put in below this, I measured off of the same board, so my screw holes didn't actually line up. It's an amateur mistake and one that I will be determined not to make again. But life goes on and you learn from your mistakes. That's the whole point of them, isn't it? So if you notice later on in the video, the actual cleats don't line up and one slightly shorter than the other one because of that mistake. Hardly noticeable, unless someone points out at you, obviously. At least I got it level. That's a plus, isn't it? To actually building the holders. I had a load of 12 mil ply left, um, which I bought for something, can't really actually remember what. So I needed to get rid of it because it's not got a lot of use. But this I thought, nice little bit of ply, not too thick, be fine. I would have preferred to make it out of 18mm, which some of the later ones are, but I figured it would be okay for these first few anyway. I didn't really measure too much on this, I just sort of drew around what I had and tried to figure it out as I go along. It's not the best way to plan things, but I think it worked out in the end. And it doesn't need to look pretty, it's just for the garage and the shop, so I thought it was fine. Okay, so maybe I wanted it to look a little bit pretty. So I just sort of rounded over these edges because it would actually hold the drills better, so they've got a function. But um, I wanted to play with the jigsaw. I need a new one. I'd like a Triton one, but this one is good enough for me. I've had it for years and it's worked fine. But um, now I've got some decent bits for it and some blades, it actually works quite well. So I guess I'll hold on for it for a bit longer at least. Good old Black & Decker, eh? Good old Black & Decker. So I'm not sure whether I should have actually cut the board out first before I cut the inserts out of it, but that's not how I did it. So I'm just using my um, my T-square my to get it at least somewhat square. Don't know if it worked very well, but it, it looks right. It works. So then I cut it out using my table saw. It was a good little saw, it worked, lasted quite a while for what I needed it, but time for an upgrade at least. Still missed that saw though. So I'm pretty much following April Wilkinson's plans for this. Not to the letter, I'm doing it my own way, but I wanted to copy her wings idea and her storage for the tools. Because I actually think it looks pretty good and worked really well for what they were doing. So I cut them out with a bandsaw, nice, easy, very quick. Didn't do them both at the same time, which was a mistake. 
but I still think it turned out well. Not bad for a first try anyway. So I attached the counterpart to the French cleat to the back of the unit, put it on the wall, decided I made a mistake, and took it right back down off again. And then I ripped it apart to try something else. Completely breaking that one down, I decided that I should actually put a shelf in for my drill bits as well, because I need somewhere to store them. So I added that additional shelf in. I think it worked all right. So all I did was cut out basically exactly the same size that matched, just so it would fit above. So you'll notice that I'm actually using 18mm ply on this one, only because I did have a few scraps of it left around, so adding that additional shelf in, because it's going to be a lot of a bigger unit, I wanted to use something a little bit stronger. I'm glazing over this one quite quickly, because all it is is the same thing, cutting out, measuring up, and then cutting it out on the bandsaw. Then it was just a case of throwing it together. It seemed to work alright, added that French cleat system back in onto the other side of it and put it on. I did cut it down so it wasn't such a big one because I didn't quite understand at the time the French cleat system, but I think I got this one right. And everything seems to fit on it quite nicely. I look happy, don't I? So, now it's time for the chargers. I've only got the two at the moment, so all I did was put them on the board and see how they look. The Ryobi one actually has two holes which I can attach screws to, so I didn't need to worry about that one coming off the shelf. But the Triton one was a little bit difficult. I had to add this bridge thing in order to keep it from falling off when I was pulling the battery out. Um, the Ryobi one worked a lot better, but I think that works for a basic one at least. Now electrics aren't my fun bit. If I can't hit it with a hammer then I'm pretty much useless. So I just added that extension lead to the bottom and that meant that I could just attach the couple of chargers that I had. I had a spare socket just in case I needed to update it later on, but it seemed to work alright. That was a nice little trick that I picked up, bit of masking tape on the back, so then you can transfer the holes nice and easily. It's something that I've actually used quite a lot recently for a few other projects and um, I like it. Makes it quick, makes it easy, means you can actually get things in the right place for once. I added the backboard in and then added the French cleat as well and then put it up. Seemed to look good to me. I will come back and sort out all of the cables at some point but in the meantime I think that looks pretty good. It all fits, it all works and working is important obviously but I don't. The cable management, I'll attach a bracket or something to it in order to keep them tidy but just tying them up at the moment looks fine right? It doesn't look bad at all. So now the palm router. This is the lovely little router that I got a couple of years ago and it worked brilliant for what I use it for. So little tiny platform for this one. It didn't need to be big. I should have added a shelf for my router bits. So they're just going to have to sit on top of my drill station. But for the moment, I'm happy with it. I don't want to rip it apart and start again. So same basic system for this one couple of wings on the side, nice flat platform to sit on, and then with the counterpart for the French cleat on the back. I think it looks good. Stable, perfect for what I need it for. Fits in nicely. Collection is growing. So, same thing for my random orbit sander. Lovely, again, lovely little bit of kit. I was a little bit worried about the dust port for this one, as it would have been dangling, or I'd had to have stood it upright. I didn't want to do that, I wanted it on its side so it was stable. So I just made a little side to hold one. And even though the dust port does sort of dangle down the side, I may sort that out later on and put it somewhere else. But for the minute, I think I'm happy with it. It was now time for my circular saw. Now the bit of wood that I'm using actually already had a small cut out of it because let's say in my younger days, I made a homemade table saw. It quite quickly got dismantled, but I still had this leftover bit of wood with a cutout. So I just extended that slightly to fit the more of the blade guard in. So as with the rest of them, added those extra bits in. I had this little scrap bit that I had from the leftover 45, and that was just to hold the bottom in place so it wouldn't fall off so easily. And actually following April's wise wisdom, I actually did add a little hook on the top 
which I can twist round in order to lock it into place so it wasn't so wobbly when it was actually on the hook because it would have toppled otherwise. Worked quite well. Well, it's not fallen off yet anyway. I mean, there's still time, but at the moment it's not. So I'll call that a win. So I had a load of scraps left over from all of the cutting that I'd done to make the other holders. And I thought, what can I do with this? I know, let's make somewhere I can store my pencils. So I threw this one together quite quickly. And then using my lovely new toy, because I'd only had the bandsaw for about a day so far, I thought I'd make this one. And it just gives me somewhere to I know that I can put everything, because we all know that we'll lose our pencils. And I did stock it with an entire pack and loads of free ones that I got from Maker Central and some pens and a ruler and some other stuff. But looks good. This was the last one that I decided to make and I was actually putting this one off for quite a long time because my brain just wasn't working of how I was gonna put this one up. But it actually turned out really simple so I'm glad I did it in the end. But I did put it off for a very long time. Just because there's so much stuff and extra bits and cables, I just didn't want to do it more than anything else. But I did it, looks okay, just about, just about holds everything as well. So, not bad. Still don't know where to put all the stuff though. I should have built an extra compartment underneath, but I guess just sticking it on top and placing it there will work for the moment. I guess. Yeah. Why not? Or just leave it on. I think I'll put it on. Yeah. Yeah, let's just leave it sticking out in the middle of the shot. There you go. All finished for the minute. I've got a little bit extra space to add a few more tools because I haven't done all of them yet, but these are the ones that I use more than anything else. So they'll, um, they'll work out quite well there. Give me a lot more space in the workshop to actually use the shelves for different things now rather than just holding these ones. But they turned out quite well. I did add the Milwaukee charger on the side there because I have my Milwaukee miter saw now. So I needed somewhere to put that. And I couldn't be bothered to remake this one at the moment. So it's stuck on the side. It's secure there nicely, so I'm quite happy with it. Um, I was going to paint them, but I don't need to. I quite like them how they are. And, you know, if I get more, I may start doing that in future. But for the minute, I'm happy with how it turned out. But I'm going to see what I can fill these gaps with now. I may go up, I may go down, I'm not sure whether if, if I, when I get more tools I'll add more in. Um, like I do have a nailer that I want to put up. Um, my nice leaf blower that I use to clean the shop. I would like to put that up as well, but I want to see how it goes really. Um, it's just a wait and see game now. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope this gave you some tips. Um, credit to April and the other guys that have done this before. Um, you know, I'm basically stealing your ideas and designs really, but they work well, so why wouldn't I? So, anyway, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon in order to see my latest videos when they come out. So don't forget, I've got probably here somewhere, or maybe there, will be uh, the subscribe button, so you can click on that if you haven't subscribed already. And somewhere floating around here as well will be the last video that I made. So make sure if you haven't watched my last ones, click on the playlists. Uh, next video will probably be a um, video for the workshop of see what I've done to it since my last one um, just a bit of an update one but make sure you click on these buttons to fully subscribe and watch my last videos uh, catch you later on